Sage has become quite the staple of an Asian pick in both ranked and pro matches when it comes to the Valorant map Icebox, primarily for her powerful wall ability that is used religiously on both sides. But the truth is, most people are playing her wrong when it comes to the notorious usage of Sage's barrier orb on Icebox B site. In today's video, I'll be explaining why the strategy that every player calls necessary on this map is simply untrue, and not only untrue, but completely hinders your team's ability to hold a proper post plan. Let's get into it. So first, let's break down what exactly most Sage players get wrong when it comes to deploying her barrier orb. Sage at heart is a stalling based sentinel and her core two abilities revolve around keeping enemies from crossing a choke point. So when tasked with getting into B site as attackers on Icebox, almost every player across all ranks runs up to the site after clearing the green and yellow area and without their gun out, they carelessly run up and deploy their Sage wall at the front corner of the plant zone. They then pray that their $400 ability doesn't get broken or countered in time to stop the plant from going down, and then sprint back to spawn. From this point, all five attackers funnel behind the yellow box or hide in the green area. Now, tell me if this sounds familiar. 10 seconds after your sage planted the spike, there's already three to four enemies running out of the B site, deploying loads of utility at the few places your team has to hide. And before the bomb can even start ticking faster, the enemy team is already defusing the spike. A swift panic ensues, and finally all your allies fall from being surrounded. Now let's reconsider the situation, except with a proper attack strategy backing your team. Your team clears green, clears back yellow, now what? Well, let's make this site look professional. Firstly, let's talk smokes. If you have an ally, Brimstone, Omen, or Astra, these smokes demonstrated here are the ideal placements. The snowman smoke blocks all defender pressure from CT spawn, where operators are usually posted up. The second smoke is the important one, and the smoke that will be the most confusing for some. The smoke is placed into deep orange to block off the long angle from mid under two peak, as well as the snow pile. If you instead have an ally viper, tell her to drop the wall parallel to this orange stack. This wall is great because it not only blocks vision from mid, but also from the snow pile side peak. Now, what this lets you do with your team is properly clear back site before planting. Notice the simplified pathing and pinch that happens here. The player hugging the back wall clears top site and back container and the allies running in close to see into mid orange and make their way to the small power angle backside. Now that your allies are posted up on the site and in control of the power positions, defenders are forced to come through a choke point. So what's a choke point? A choke point is a key area of the map that functions as an entrance and an exit to the bomb sites. All of these positions are single smokable by controllers and makes it easy to push players walking through by design. Defenders use these key areas to fend off attackers from entering a site or used vice versa to keep defenders from retaking a site. Now, to bring Sage back into the picture. With the space cleared like it was designed to, the Sage can use her barrier orb to wall off a chokeable area like Kitchen or Snowman. In this example, I've walled off Snowman as this forces the retake to come from one small lane of the map. With this newfound pressure the attackers have from retiring the traditional plant only wall, there's no uphill battle for post plant and most of the time the remaining enemies won't even be able to tap the bomb. And to put the nail in the coffin on this ancient and unfortunately subpar strategy, let me draw out the space attackers retain for post plant and yellow. This is the space attackers own when using the sage wall plant strategy. None of your allies have any control of the actual site and defenders can peek from anywhere instead of being stuck behind a choke point. Now, let's explore the post plant positions when site is taken properly. Having two players under site creates a great crossfire and an easy trade for any defender crossing these two angles. Have a jet updraft on top of the container and hold the snow pile and the tube angles with the rifle. Like we say a lot on these guides, the most important aspect of securing kills in Valorant is positioning. Setting up an advantage is absolutely necessary for a proper attack round to elapse smoothly, and with this newfound knowledge, you can fully utilize and dominate B-Site on Icebox. 
Thanks for watching, and if you want to watch more, check out this video where we explain how you should be using your Sage Wall in defense. Here at Esports Driven, we do our best to help each and every one of you improve your game every time. So definitely subscribe and join our community. Anyway guys, catch you guys in the next video.